Hello everybody, this is Professor Choi again. I had another request from a student and I really couldn't say no because um, we were having a discussion and he was telling me why don't you explain the best way to make money in the stock market that is basically being proven empirically and when we say empirically it means by history and by research and, and I, I guess I have done it plenty of times but I'm going to explain it again and, and this is a video that everyone should be watching alright so this is the empirically proving way to invest in the stock market with long term very little risk but short term unknown risk in other words we don't really know where the stock market is going on any day or any week or any month to month basis and it doesn't matter we know where the market is going in the long run now the reason we know is because we live in a growing economy. Now this might not be true if your economy is not growing. All right? So this is a big assumption here. The big assumption is that the market is a reflection of economic activity in your country. And this is very much true. Now, whether the market is preemptive or postentive from economic activity, that's something that we can discuss. It's usually preemptive. But the point is, as long as your economy is growing, you know that your stock market will be growing as well. And if you live in the United States, this has been so for more than 150 years. So you can bet on this more than you can bet on almost anything else. All right. So how do you make money if this is so, if you have a growing economy, how can we say that we can pretty much prove to you empirically through research that this works? Well, what you need to do basically is to buy a market index ETF or fund. In other words, you need to buy an investment that tries to um, mirror the behavior of the stock market. And what they basically are is an investment that you can buy as a single unit and it has all the stock in a particular market all of it sliced into little pieces so when you put money on this one unit this particular stock market ETF it basically buys all of that together so every time you buy here you're buying the market all the time and we know that the market's growing and we know that they have done so for 150 years now okay so um, you need to put regular amounts of money, so regular intervals with regular amounts of money into this. It, it has to be whatever amount you can afford. I mean, if it's $50 a month, it's $50. If it's uh, $25 a month, if it's $150, if it's $500 a month, you need to put that slowly and regularly into that stock market investment account. Now, let me explain why does it work before I explain why more people don't do this okay so here's how it basically works you don't care where the market is today what you care for is the amount of money that came in and that you're gonna buy a little more so if you buy basically here and 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 here you buy the market here you buy the market here you buy the market here and then you buy the market here you buy the market here and then all of a sudden it crashes and you buy there and you buy there and you buy there and you buy there and then all of a sudden when the crash is happening you buy there and you buy there and you keep doing that pretty much with equal amounts of money what your rate of return is basically going to do is it's going to follow this sort of average growth in the market an easy way to look at that is basically thinking about this point where you started and this point where the market is at and your rate of return it's basically going to be that number your rate of return is going to be the change again between rise over run so your rate of return is going to mirror the rate of return of the market and if you look at the last 120 years or so in the United States with all the recessions, the market crashes, the big ones and the small ones, you would have been up about 6% to 8% per year. 
Now I know to a lot of people this doesn't seem like a high rate of return but this is a heck of a lot more than what you get on your savings account this is a heck of a lot more than what you get in like even real estate investments sometimes okay so this is a proven empirical way to make money in the stock market without thinking about it without having a degree without worrying about what happens today or what happens tomorrow or whose whose company is this or who company is that and the main reason is because you're buying the behavior of the market. Now, not only that, a lot of these ETFs also pay dividends. So even if the market is flat on a particular year, as long as those companies are paying you regular dividends, you're going to get dividend money through all of that time as well. And the longer you are invested, the more those dividends grow and your rate of return may actually be slightly higher than a lot of what's happening in the actual just index of the stock market okay so this is the easiest most proven way to basically just buy and hold the stock market until you want to cash it out at some point later it really is now this is so simple my toddler can do it and I'm sorry, by the way, but I copied that from uh, somebody else who used to have a commercial about 15 years ago about how simple switching to them was. But this is so easy, my toddler can do it. Why is it that more people don't do this? Well, multiple reasons. They think the stock market is gambling. It is and it isn't. If you do the wrong thing, it's definitely gambling. If you're trying to market time, that's pretty much gambling because we haven't really found a way to market time and if somebody has found it by the way they probably are not telling us because otherwise all of us will be millionaires at the same time okay so market timing is near impossible Instead, you need to think about how long have I been in the market. In other words, about the time market time invested. In other words, the more you regularly invest in the market, so you take a certain amount of money and you regularly put it on this index exchange traded fund or index fund then slowly but surely the money will grow into a big pile of money at some point in the future okay and it will do it by itself and it will do it automatically i have explained in a bunch of other videos that the best best way to do this is when you get together with your employer and you create a retirement account something like a 401k or a 403b and the biggest reason this is the best way to invest it in the market is because your employer also gives you money. So in other words, you put a regular amount of money in, they put a regular amount of money in, and then now all of a sudden your pile gets bigger faster because it's not just the amount of money you're putting in, but it's the amount of money the employer's putting in and you're now growing faster because you have a bigger pile of money coming into the account regularly. And I hope, by the way, this video kind of clears up the way everybody should be investing. I also know that most people watching the video are not going to follow my instructions. So if you're not going to do this with all of your money, I strongly recommend that you do it with a large portion of your money. So let me give you an example of what you could be doing so that you take advantage of what really works and then if you want to have some fun on your own, you could do that too. Okay? Let's say that you have about $250 a month that you can afford to put on this. I recommend you take at least half of that and do what I just explained. Okay? You can take also the other half and then create your own portfolio.
Okay? Now, if you create your own portfolio, then there are a few things you need to remember. One, diversify. And I can say that 10 times, but most people are not going to do that. I, I actually had a student one day that told me that diversi diversification was for idiots. And I got to tell you, he's right and he's wrong. If you want to be a millionaire, diversification is probably for idiots. But if uh, you could be a millionaire the same way you could be poor immediately after you invest all the money on one thing. Because a lot of the times it's almost impossible to really know unless you have some kind of insider information about something, which is, by the way, illegal. So you need to diversify your portfolio. What does that mean? It means buy different sectors in the market. Rule number two, extremely important, and I know this is a cliche. Buy low, sell high. What does that mean? Well, it means that when things are going south, that's when you buy. So when everybody's selling, everybody's going, oh my God, the world's going to end, you go, okay, I'll take some of that, I'll take some of that, I'll take some of that. And you're going to be selling as things go up. It's pretty much the only way to make money. If you panic with everybody and you sell when, when things are going down, you're going to sell at the wrong time. And then if you buy, you're going to be the last one up here holding the bag. The stock market does not grow in a linear fashion. It doesn't go like that. It goes like this. So unless you are disciplined and you understand that you need to buy on the bottoms, and sell on the peaks or somewhere around there, it's really impossible to make money. And the majority of people that trade, the majority of traders lose money. Now, of course, they don't like talking about when they lost money. So if you call them, they would only talk about when they made money. All right? And those are the worst because they think they know absolutely everything. Okay? So, um, you need to put some money on the empirically proven way, which I just explained. And if you're going to be using this other way, diversify and only try to buy low and sell high. So, you're going to buy weakness and sell strength. All right? Now, I could give you a ton of other rules, but I like to use the one that Warren Buffett uses a lot, which is don't lose money. All right? A loss is a loss, and if you're going to lose money, remember it so that it doesn't happen again. All right? I hope you liked my video today. This is really the empirical proven way to invest in the market, regardless of where you are today in the market. Okay? Empirically proven basically means that we have researched it, and as long as you have a growing economy, this is so. Well, have a good one. Thank you for hanging out with Professor Choi. If you like my video, please like, share it with other people, and subscribe. See you later.